Hi. It's lunchtime and I'm starving. I don't cook much. I seem to burn everything I touch. My dad usually orders us takeout or something, but he's taking Cheryl out instead. My dad thinks Cheryl and I are going to get along. She'll never be my mom. Good luck, Cheryl. Anyway, I let you all in on something I haven't told anyone. I really trust you. I'm going to fill you in on more, but stick with me. It's uncomfortable. Last fall, crisp air, leaves crackling. Pumpkin flavored anything filled the air. It's popular. Friday night, my school won the football game. Yay! Go Pythons. 9 p.m. Pre-game for a party with Sam and Lola. Lola invited Sam and Sam invited me. Offered a drink, so I drink. Arrived at 10.15 p.m., heart beating fast. I drink. I drink again. And again. And again. Loud music and shadows distract my mind. Sam? (laughs) Sam turns up. I sit down. He sits next to me. I stare at my phone. His voice touches my neck. My brain moves to the left. My body moves to the right. He takes my right hand. He leads me where I'm left to assume someone will come looking for me. Shadows become a blur, but his vision is clear. And I just, I just, I can't do it, okay? You told me to tell Sam. I mean, I usually keep my word, but if I tell Sam, she'll want to kill him. She'll want to do something about it. Maybe I'm assuming, but I feel like you're thinking I sound dumb. Like, I sound stupid right now. But... See, you don't understand. I should want help. I should want him to get what he deserves. And that guy, he doesn't deserve to get away with what he tried to do. Well, that guy is Sam's brother. So why don't you try telling her what he did last fall?